Hello, today we'll be going through practice questions 61 to 70 for the CompTIA Network Plus exam. Let's begin. A network administrator is troubleshooting an application issue after a firewall change. The administrator has confirmed that the port and protocol are accessible to the user, but the application is still having issues. Which of the following tools allows the administrator to look at traffic on the application layer of the OSI model? The correct answer is B, TCP dump. TCP dump is a packet capture tool that allows a network administrator to inspect network traffic at the application layer. It captures packets traveling over the network, enabling detailed analysis of protocols and data payloads to troubleshoot application issues. Why the other options are incorrect? A, if config. If config is used to display and configure network interfaces, but it does not capture or analyze network traffic. C. NSLOOKUP NSLOOKUP is used for querying DNS records, which helps diagnose name resolution issues but does not provide traffic analysis. D. TRACEROUTE TRACEROUTE tracks the path packets take across the network but does not inspect application layer traffic. Therefore, the correct answer is B. TCP dump. Which of the following ports should a network administrator enable for encrypted login to a network switch? The correct answer is A. 22 Port 22 is used for SSH, which provides an encrypted login method for securely managing network switches and other devices remotely. Why the other options are incorrect? B. 23 Port 23 is used for Telnet, which transmits data unencrypted making it insecure for remote login. C. 80. Port 80 is used for HTTP, which is an unencrypted protocol for web traffic, not for secure device login. D. 123. Port 123 is used for NTP to synchronize time across network devices, not for remote login. Therefore, the correct answer is A. 22. Which of the following is used to stage copies of a website closer to geographically dispersed users? The correct answer is B. CDN A content delivery network is used to stage copies of a website closer to geographically dispersed users. CDNs cache website content on multiple servers located in different regions, reducing latency and improving load times for users by serving content from the nearest edge server. Why the other options are incorrect? A. VPN A VPN provides secure remote access to a network but does not distribute website content geographically. C. SAN A SAN is a high-speed storage network used for centralized storage in data centers, but it does not distribute website content. D. SDN SDN is a networking approach that dynamically manages network traffic, but it does not specifically stage website copies closer to users. Therefore, the correct answer is B, CDN. Which of the following appliances provides users with an extended footprint that allows connections from multiple devices within a designated WLAN? The correct answer is C, Access Point. An access point provides users with a wireless footprint allowing multiple devices to connect to a WLAN. It extends network connectivity wirelessly, enabling mobile and stationary devices to access the network. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Router. A router connects different networks and manages traffic, but it does not directly provide a wireless footprint unless it includes an integrated Wi-Fi access point. B. Switch. A switch operates at layer 2 and facilitates wired communication between devices but does not provide wireless connectivity. D. Firewall. A firewall is a security device that controls network traffic but does not provide wireless network access. Therefore, the correct answer is C. Access point. An administrator is configuring a switch that will be placed in an area of the office that is accessible to customers. Which of the following is the best way for the administrator to mitigate unknown devices from connecting to the network? The correct answer is D. 802.1x 802.1x is a network access control protocol that requires authentication before allowing devices to connect to a switch port. 
It helps prevent unauthorized devices from accessing the network by requiring users or devices to provide valid credentials. Why the other options are incorrect? A. SSE SSE is a cloud-based security framework that focuses on securing remote access and internet traffic, but it does not control physical network access at a switch level. B. ACL ACLs filter traffic based on IP addresses or protocols, but they do not prevent unknown devices from physically connecting to a switch. C. Perimeter network a perimeter network segregates public-facing services from internal networks but does not control physical access to a switch. Therefore, the correct answer is D, A02.1x. Which of the following diagrams would most likely include specifications about fiber connector types? The correct answer is B, physical. A physical diagram details the hardware layout of a network, including cable types, connector types, and port assignments. It provides a visual representation of how devices are physically connected. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Logical. A logical diagram shows the network structure and data flow, such as VLANs, IP addressing, and protocols, but does not specify physical connector types. C. Rack. A rack diagram focuses on the placement of equipment in a rack, but it does not include details about fiber connectors. D. Routing. A routing diagram illustrates network paths, routing protocols, and IP relationships between devices, not the physical layer details like fiber connectors. Therefore, the correct answer is B, physical. Which of the following is the most likely reason an insurance brokerage would enforce VPN usage? The correct answer is A, to encrypt sensitive data in transit. An insurance brokerage handles highly sensitive customer data including personal and financial information. Using a VPN ensures that this data is encrypted in transit, protecting it from eavesdropping or interception, especially when employees work remotely or use unsecured networks. Why the other options are incorrect? B. To secure the endpoints. A VPN protects data in transit, but endpoint security is handled separately. A VPN alone does not fully secure devices. C. To maintain contractual agreements. While some contracts may require secure communications, the primary reason for enforcing VPN usage in an insurance brokerage is data encryption for compliance and security. D. To comply with data retention requirements. Data retention policies focus on storing and archiving data for legal and regulatory purposes, which a VPN does not directly address. Therefore, the correct answer is A, to encrypt sensitive data in transit. An organization moved its DNS servers to new IP addresses. After this move, customers are no longer able to access the organization's website. Which of the following DNS entries should be updated? The correct answer is D, NS. Name server records specify the authoritative DNS servers responsible for a domain. If an organization moves its DNS servers to new IP addresses, the NS records must be updated to reflect the new authoritative name servers. Otherwise, customers will still query the old, non-functional servers, preventing them from resolving the website's domain name correctly. Why the other options are incorrect? A. AAAA AAAA in records map a domain name to an IPv6 address. If the website uses IPv4, Updating the AAAA record would not fix the issue. B. CNAME CNAME records alias one domain to another but do not directly specify DNS servers. Changing CNAME records would not resolve DNS server connectivity issues. C. MX MX records direct email traffic to the correct mail servers but do not affect website accessibility. Therefore, the correct answer is D. NS which of the following are environmental factors that should be considered when installing equipment in a building? Choose two. The correct answers are A. Fire suppression system and C. Humidity control. Fire suppression system. Ensuring the presence of a fire suppression system is critical to protecting network equipment from fire-related damage. C. Humidity control. High humidity can cause corrosion and short circuits 
while low humidity can lead to electrostatic discharge, both of which can damage sensitive electronics. Proper climate control helps maintain a stable operating environment. Why the other options are incorrect? B. UPS location. While important for power redundancy, UPS placement is more of a power management consideration than an environmental factor. D. Power load. Managing power load is critical for power distribution, but it is not classified as an environmental factor affecting the installation environment itself. E. Floor construction type. While structural integrity is essential for heavy equipment, it does not directly relate to environmental conditions like temperature, humidity, or air quality. F. Proximity to nearest MDF. While network design considers MDF placement, it is a connectivity concern rather than an environmental factor. Therefore, the correct answers are A. Fire suppression system and C. Humidity control. A systems administrator is configuring a new device to be added to the network. The administrator is planning to perform device hardening prior to connecting the device. Which of the following should the administrator do first? The correct answer is D. Change the default admin passwords. The first step in device hardening is to change the default admin passwords to prevent unauthorized access. Default credentials are well known and frequently targeted by attackers, so securing them is a critical first measure before connecting the device to the network. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Update the network ACLs. ACLs help control traffic, but they should be configured after basic device hardening, not as the first step. B. Place the device in a screened subnet. Placing the device in a screened subnet can limit exposure, but it does not secure the device itself. Hardening should be done before connecting it to any network. C. Enable content filtering. Content filtering is used to restrict access to certain web content, which is not relevant to initial device hardening. Therefore, the correct answer is D. Change the default admin passwords. We have come to the end of today's video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Goodbye.